We're continuing our coverage of the Lawton mayoral election. All this week, we'll be speaking with the four out of the five candidates who agreed to speak with us. Last night, we heard from the incumbent, and tonight, we're getting a chance to know another candidate, Jacoby Crowley. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So you've run for positions within the local government a few times now. Tell me, why did you decide to run for mayor? I think it's important to understand that uh, the people are asking for change and so uh, I feel that I have the ear of the people have been listening directly towards what the people have been saying um, and I feel that I'm in the best position and have the opportunity uh, to, to pursue those changes and make sure that the city of Lawton is moving forward when it comes to change. Why should people vote for you? I think just ultimately I come up with a unique perspective. I'm not a business owner. Uh, I am the executive director for a nonprofit here called the Boys and Girls Club. We've been here for over 60 years. And so we deal with youth uh, and at-risk kids with, throughout um, our community. And I feel that uh, I've had a lot of different opportunities within my life that have provided me a different perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been able to sit uh, in front of individuals and sit in their homes and hear their concerns. Uh, I've been able to cry with mothers that uh, had issues in the aspects of things that they have dealt with within their families but I've also seen uh, the success of opportunities within the city of Lawton and and I, I really want to see Lawton move forward I feel like we have built that bridge uh, but I, it's time to kind of walk across it all right then now in your opinion what are the biggest issues recently facing Lawton I know so you look at you know the homelessness initiative that we've had here in the city of Lawton it's a big uh, problem within our community and a lot of people are seeing that uh, throughout um, their you know their time as they're driving to work or coming from work uh, they're seeing individuals that are maybe uh, suffering with chronic homelessness or chronic homelessness which is a directed towards individuals with substance abuse and mental health this is an initiative and in understanding that it's okay to understand what it is but also providing initiatives and looking at what other communities have done in the future we are talking about economic development and economic diversity within our city itself it's important to get the information not just directly from uh, the experts but also from the citizens are going to be applying for these jobs they're going to be actually going out to work for some of these businesses um, that we want to bring in in the city of law okay I see well change takes time and a lot of it what are some long-term goals that you have for the city if you're elected I think we got to look at what is the city look like in 20 years and so uh, if we do not change now how would that narrative be what would be the opportunities that presents itself uh, from the time frame that we see today into the time frame that we see tomorrow and so I think that as me as a 32 year old in my 30s and a uh, millennial in that time frame I want to see my community look like the community that I want to see within the future I want my kids to be raised here I want my family to have an opportunity here I want individuals that graduate high school to say I'm going to stay here in the city of Lawton so 20 years down the line I feel that that change is investing more directly towards uh, our citizens and making sure that they have a long-standing stay and have a quality of life that they have a proud in of saying that they are a citizen here in the city of Lawton all right there uh, last question with the future mayor of Lawton being undecided uh, what are you doing right now to better the city I think just ultimately just doing the work that I already do within the Boys and Girls Club. Also connecting with individuals, connecting with organizations, and connecting with, with just residents, not as just a candidate, but also as a concerned citizen. Uh, me being on particular boards and commissions has allowed me the opportunity to hear those concerns or seeing the problems that we have within our city, but then also talking to individuals and educating them. We have a communication issue in this city, and I think that it's important uh, when we are dealing with moving forward, we first have to uh, address the process of the communication and so when we open up those doors of communication uh, the citizens can have a better uh, understanding and all together we can move forward thank you so much for being here today thank you for having me all right then Barrett